Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing the review on the Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy for 2019, but you are gonna see some of the swatches from the Too Faced Gingerbread Spice from 2018, just to see what are the differences. Do you like them? Do you need this palette? Because maybe you bought this one last year. So we're gonna kind of go through all of that today and kind of give you my thoughts and opinions. So I did create this eye look today using the Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette. So many great colors. I opened this up, I was overwhelmed with, oh my gosh, where do I start? So I didn't study this, probably should have. So I just kind of jumped in and I went with a little bit darker eye making it a little fun. This could be a eye look for night. I typically like dark eyes anyways, although the last two looks I've done kind of medium, which is a little strange for me. But I actually, in all honesty, I'm getting back into playing with makeup. I haven't done a lot in the last two months, so yeah, I'm kind of tiptoeing back in. Well, this palette is a wonderful, wonderful palette to play with. I love the pinks that goes with the oranges and the browns. So this can carry you from fall into spring. The pinks and oranges work very well together. They're so gorgeous next to each other, which I think is pretty brilliant. And then as far as their shimmers go, they have quite a selection of shimmers that will go either with the pinks or the oranges. The one color that I really wanted to use today, and I didn't, I couldn't figure it out after I started using the pinks and oranges together, was this Midnight Snack. It's almost like a teal color. Yeah, it's like a really dark teal color. And it kind of sticks out to me like a sore thumb compared to all the other colors. I don't know if they needed to go with a much darker brown, but this has an undertone of maybe some blues. I don't know. So that to me just kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. Other than that, I think the palette really works well together. I think you're gonna get multiple looks out of this. I, I, I still wanna try to use Midnight Snack at some point because it's intriguing me. It is intriguing me because it just stands out compared to everything else. I know, I gotta let it go, right? Just let it go, Amy, just let it go. But I would say, I, I'm actually kind of shocked. So I wasn't sure if I would like this palette compared to last year's palette. And now that I look at last year's palette, there was a lot of purples in there. I think that was great for fall. And you could use several of these for spring. But if I had to pick between the two, I, I would definitely go with the 2019 versus 2018. I am at my sister-in-law's house in Wyoming, and so she's picked up these palettes, and it's been fun to play with her these new palettes that I hadn't ordered yet. And I will say that as I was putting the, these on, they went on really well. I think they blended well. Um, I almost started getting a muddy look because I was using too many colors, and so I broke it up by putting on a one of the shimmers and then some dark around the edges and now it doesn't look muddy to me but there for a minute I was like uh oh maybe I'm putting too many that are too close together in color and you're not really gonna see some color differences now that I have the eye look finished I really really like it I think it's pretty I think it's elegant and I think I could wear this either day or night for me maybe most women wouldn't want to do something as dark for during the day, but I like pushing the envelope. What can I say? I just like pushing the envelope. So Sabrina is going to be doing the same um, review on the palette. I'm always interested when her and I get the same palettes like or the same foundations or powders or whatever. How are they going to work on her versus how are they going to work on me? Because even though we both have oily skin, we're in different regions. I'm in a very hot region that stays pretty much hot all year round down in Texas. She's up here where we actually had snow yesterday. Totally tickled me. Love, love, love the snow. And so her skin being oily but in a more drier area or a cooler area 
she responds differently sometimes than what I do. And the only thing that I can really contribute it to is the, the geographic areas we're in. But as far as um, the palettes go, we tend to gravitate to different colors, even if we have the same palette. So that's always fun. Um, I always enjoy looking to see what she's going to create because when we look at things, we look at things so different. So that is always a blast. But I would like you to hop over to Sabrina E's channel and I'll have her link below or a card above. I'm still learning these new editing techniques she's doing while I'm here in Wyoming so much further advanced than what I am. So yeah, I hope you head over to her video and see her look that she creates using the same palette and just see what you, what you guys think as far as two different women giving their view on the same palette. And so if you're going to add something to your collection or you're thinking about a new palette just because you need one, it is great to see what a difference of opinion is. I will say that Too Faced has surprised me this year. Overall, I've reviewed a couple of their holiday palettes and I really think this year and the different ones that I've looked at or played with, they're doing so much better than what they did last year. And I was kind of excited with their colors last year, but really, really thrilled with their quality. So I'm not sure what Too Faced is doing, upping their game, but very, very impressed that they are upping their game. Love to see that for the holiday collections because typically I get frustrated with them with the holiday collections because it seems like they bring their quality down for holiday palettes and collections. And so this year, I just don't feel like they gave up quality to put out their palettes, which is, thank you Too Faced. Should have done that a long time ago. Um, okay, so I hope you like this video. I hope you enjoy seeing how I did this eye look. If you have any thoughts, questions, etc., please put those below. I love interacting with the audience and yeah, I just hope you make it a great day. With the holiday seasons coming up, I hope you make amazing memories with your friends and family. Life's too short and we've got to have some fun. Okay, y'all. Until next time.